Welcome to the NASCAR Xfinity Series broadcast of the Cheez It 100. We're here in upstate New York where eight of the finest NASCAR Xfinity Series drivers will battle it out for 16 laps at this two and a half mile road course. Watkins Glen is known for its great racing and great passing. There are several different turns and twists in this racetrack that cars and drivers will have to endure today. AJ Allmendinger grabbed the fastest lap in qualifying to put him on the pole. Starting to his outside will be Regan Smith who was fastest in first and second practices. We've been here all weekend and this is the main event. Our fans are fired up. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for today's broadcast. On row one is AJ Allmendinger and Regan Smith. On row two is Brendan Gong and Max Pappas. On row three is Sam Hornish Jr. and Ryan Reed. On row four is Ron Fellows and Austin Dillon. Here's your layout of the racetrack. Turn one is a very sharp and slow turn, followed by the sweeping S's of turns two, three, and four. Then following that is the long back straightaway, which leads you right into the bus stop, turns five, six, seven, and eight. Turn 9 is a sweeping carousel, and that leads you down another long straightaway, in through turn 10, down the chute, and to turn 11. So here's your Geico keys to the race. It's going to be 16 laps, 8 drivers. It's a 9-lap fuel window, a 2.5 mile course. The air temperature is 65 degrees, track temperature 85 degrees. So here we go. We're all set for a great day of racing. Green flag is out. A.J. Allmendinger clears Brendan Gunn for the race lead. It looks like through the bus stop he's got the field in tow. Coming out of the carousel turn, Brendan Gong and Regan Smith are side by side for second place as A.J. Allmendinger leads the first lap. Heading through the S's again, uh, Brendan Gong and Regan Smith are still side by side as they head through the bus stop again. Coming out of the carousel, I don't know how long they're going to be able to keep this up. I'm getting a little bit racy for the beginning of the race. Sam Hornish Jr. gets a little bit loose, heading into turn one. Austin Dillon loses it. He's around. Uh, no caution as of right now. I don't believe there's going to be a caution. Austin Dillon gets right back going. He really wasn't in anybody's way. Here we are on board with Brendan Gong. He's cleared Regan Smith as A.J. Allmendinger leads another lap. Here comes Sam Hornish Jr. looking for third place. And Austin Dillon's in for pitting. Uh, looks like he's going to take four tires and just fill it with some Sunoco Racing fuel. Uh, let's take a look at what happened to him. Um, just going into turn one, it looks like uh, Ryan Reed just tapped him a little bit, which sent him around. I'm not sure. He could have just gotten hooked on that rumble strip. I don't know. I, I don't believe Austin Dillon's too happy about that. So as we take you back to the race, A.J. Allmendinger still leads it with Brendan Gong right behind him. And it looks like Sam Hornish Jr. slowly closing in on Brendan Gong. Here comes Max Pappas. And it's going through the bus stop. Oh, Sam Hornish Jr. is around. Regan Smith is collected. Caution is out here on lap 5 of 16. Uh, tough break for those two. Um, I don't believe that either of them hit anything. I could be wrong. Uh, Regan Smith definitely did not hit anything. Uh, this is a big break for Austin Dillon. He was about to go a lap down because of pitting. But he'll be ready to back up with the field as Regan Smith is going to pit. Uh, so will Sam Hornish Jr. I'm not sure if he's going to get repairs or not. Ryan Reed, oh, he appears to be in early as well. That's a bit of a gamble. We'll have to see how that turns out. As we take a look at our instant replay, it looks like Regan Smith just kind of came together with Sam Hornish heading into the bus stop. And that sent him around. Um, Hornish did hit the wall a little bit, so he will get rear quarter panel damage. And here's your restart order. A.J. Allmendinger. And Brendan Gong will lead us back to the green here at Watkins Glen. Green flag is back out here on lap 7. Heading into turn 1. Here comes Max Pappas looking for the race lead. I don't know. Oh, A.J. Allmendinger gets a little bit loose. I think Max Pappas has it. Coming out of the carousel turn, he's going to be... He's got his nose in front of A.J. Allmendinger. They're still side by side heading into lap number 8. This is getting intense. Green flag pit stops are going to come up here pretty soon as Austin Dillon goes off course a little bit. Max Pappas and A.J. Elmendinger are still side by side for the race lead. But it looks like Max Pappas is going to clear him. And Max Pappas is going to lead his second lap today. Can A.J. Elmendinger catch back up to him? We'll have to wait and see. 
And it appears, oh, the leaders are pitting. Max Pappas looks like he's going to take two tires. Same with uh, A.J. Allendinger and Ron Fellows. And Austin Dillon is in just for fuel because he pitted earlier. It looks like Ryan Reed, this is his strategy. I think he pitted early to stay out. and He's got a huge advantage over the rest of the field now. Sam Hornish Jr. and Regan Smith stayed out as well. I don't know if it's going to work out for uh, any of these guys. It might work out for, like, Regan Smith. Oh, hard hit for Brendan Gong in turn number 10. Caution is out. Jeez. That was a really tough hit as I was uh, explaining fuel strategy. That came out of nowhere. Looks like A.J. Allmendinger is involved as well. That is some rough damage to the 62. Man. Uh, Austin Dillon's in on pit road. Um, looks like his quarter panel's been damaged. A.J. Allmendinger's going to try and continue. I don't know. He had a strong car, too. Looks like uh, Brendan Gong's going to be out of the race. Tough break for him. Let's take a look at your replay. That was interesting. I think Brendan Gong just tapped Austin Dillon, and then his brakes locked up. He just sent. He was just sent straight into that retaining wall. So Ryan Reed is going to lose the lead. Or, no, he might. he's going to keep the lead. Don't pay attention to me. Looks like Sam Hornish Jr. is going to pit. I think he's just going for fuel only because I don't think Sam Hornish is going to make it. I don't, I'm not sure about Ryan Reed. We'll have to wait and see. So the green flag is going to determine everything here at Watkins Glen with just three laps to go. Ryan Reed leads. Oh, and he spins the tires. Ryan Reed bobbles. I don't know if he's going to have enough fuel. Ron Fellows to the race lead. Can Ron Fellows hold off the field? Here comes Sam Hornish Jr. back up to the front. After getting wrecked by Regan Smith, can he pull off the win? I'm not sure. Max Pappas moves into second place. He's in hot pursuit of Ron Fellows. Coming through turns 10 and 11, Ron Fellows takes the white flag. Who's going to make it to the finish line first? Max Pappas has a good run. Is he going to use the bump and run? Ron Fellows gets loose in the carousel. Who's going to make it off the final corner? It looks like Ron Fellows is going to take the win at Watkins Glen. As Ryan Reed, I don't know if you saw back there, Ryan Reed ended up spinning. Well, look at that margin of victory, folks. Let's take a look at your finish replay. It looks like uh, Austin Dillon just gave Ryan Reed a tap. I don't think he was too happy about what had happened earlier. But anyways, burn it down, Ron Fellows. You earned it. Great racing by him all day. He had a pretty quiet day. Looks like uh, Austin Dillon isn't too happy there with Ryan Reed. So here we take a look at your finishing results. Ron Fellows took home the victory with Max Pappas and Sam Hornish Jr. rounding out your top three. I want to thank you all for watching this event. I hope you all enjoyed the race as much as I did, and I'm sure the fans here enjoyed it too. Congratulations to Ron Fellows for taking the win away from everybody else. I hope you enjoyed this NASCAR Xfinity Series event. Join us next time for the Sprint Cup Series Steve Burns 500 in honor of Steve Burns. Thank you for watching the NASCAR Xfinity Series Season 100.